Hello, good morning. Welcome to another time of Singles Devotional for 2nd of November. And the topic we are looking at is how your relationship and marriage can be sustained. Sophia writes, An altar is a place of sacrifice, consecration, obedience, worship, strength, and exchange. It's a place where our humanity connects with the whole essence of divinity. For every believer, a personal place where you meet God, pray, praise, and worshiping is very important. It's like a place where new dreams, hopes, and aspirations are birthed. The source of a thing is also its sustenance. For a man to function maximally, he needs God. As a couple, family, the place of the family altar becomes a place of unity, a place where you come to drink. It's a place where, as a family, you all humble yourself and express yourself before God as children would. The family that prays together stays together because God becomes the central and focal point. It becomes the force that draws you together. The love of God becomes shared abroad in your heart, and that love pulls the family together. It's a blessed experience because you are rejuvenated and strengthened. As singles, learn to pray. If you're in courtship, don't use all the time for fun and looking into your eyes, but make sure there are times you pray together as you prepare for the future. Avoid praying together behind closed doors or having prayer vigils alone. That is setting up yourself for a downfall. Dunamis writes, over my few years in ministry, I've been in full-time ministry since 1997. I must have preached thousands of messages. At the time, I was preaching four times on a Sunday in four subjects for many years. That coupled with several meetings where I was invited to teach. And then, of course, over a thousand daily devotionals I've written over the years with amazing freshness. There's one thing I cannot joke with, and that is my devotional life with God. It's my secret. The moment I joke with that, I'll dry up fast. So it is with you. As a believer, you have been programmed never to succeed on your own or in your own strength. You will always need God. This is one of the most important things that you need to know. You must have a place of renewal or else the devil will sift you like a weed. You must stop playing sentiments and politics with your destiny and make sure your relationship with God is intact. At the end of the day, you will know that men cannot make you. If they have their way, they will rather marry you. It's only God that can make a man. Psalm 127 verse 1 says, Except the Lord build their house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. Without God, your wisdom, your cognitive ability, intellectual prowess, oratory, dexterity will all come to naught. The place of the altar where you make God daily is the most. What do you do at the altar? There are three major things you do when you go into his presence every day. Number one, worshiping. Number two, read his word. Number three, pray. When you regiment this into your life, then favor and blessings will also be regimented into your life. You will not need a fire brigade approach. It is the place of your strength. This is what will protect you from the Delilahs of this world that want to truncate your destiny and gouge out your eyes. That is what will protect you from Jezebels of this world who are after your anointing and will offer their body to finish you. This is what will protect you from the strange women of this world who are bent on rupturing your destiny through free sex. Proverbs 2, 16 to 17 says to deliver them from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattered their words, which forsaken the guide of her youth and forgetted the covenant of her God. This is what will protect you from the amnons of this world who don't love you but only love your body. They love you one moment and when they get what they want, the love turns to a higher level of hatred. Second Samuel 13, 15 says, Amnon hated her exceedingly so that the hatred wherewith he hated her was greater than the love wherewith he loved her. And I'm not saying that to her, arise, be gone. This is what will keep you from evil and wicked men who have no regard for God. Proverbs 2.12, to deliver thee from the will of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Yes, this is what will help you avoid lifetime errors. It's your secret. 
Don't joke with it. Be consistent with it and watch your life make progress. Get busy with spiritual things. I pray for you this morning with the grace of God upon my life that your eyes of understanding be open to comprehend this truth. Embrace it and walk in it. From this day, your strength is restored in Jesus' name. From this day, the eagle in you begins to fly again. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Meditation for the day, James 5.16, Message Translation. Make this your common practice. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you can live together all and healed. The prayer of a person living right with God is something powerful to be reckoned with. Prayer for the day number one, Father, teach me and give me wisdom. Prayer number two, my God, help me to build my family on a solid foundation of devotion. And number three, prayer, I destroy every negative altar set against me in Jesus' name. Take time and pray those prayers. Now say this confession after me. Lord, I put you first place in my life, marriage and family. I honor you in our home. I will not joke with my family altar. I will be my relationship with you and prioritize it above all that. I will not set myself up for the devil. I am kept from evil people and those who have no regard for God. The eyes of my understanding are enlightened in Jesus' name. Amen. Action plan for the day. Plan and agree on a suitable time for prayers. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, Please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandnotes.com slash b. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single married, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandnotes.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodija, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly of follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. We have a lot of resources for your soul.